I'm gonna have Greg Rogers sitting to my right here. Fail my engine at uh, any any point he he deems uh, appropriate, and uh, we'll try and make a safe land. When I first <laughs> first started flying with my girlfriend, but she first started flying with me, and let's put it that way. Uh, I told her that I always I would always be flying, and I would always have a keep a place in mind where I was going to land at any given time. That's the way I was trained. Where are you going to land? Where are you going to land? And my instructor on cross countries or any flight would kill kill the engine. My first instructor outside of Boston, my engine was failed on every single flight. Every single flight it was failed. And I believe as an instructor, if uh, instructors are watching this, fail the engine every single flight. Fail, don't just fail it in pattern, fail it out there where you think there's nothing to land. And after you give them the initial primary instruction on what to do, sit back and let them make the decisions. I was, oh, there he goes. Best glide speed, pick a place to land. I'm going back to that same road there. 65 knots, when I'm turning, I got a road. Now, there wasn't much wind, so I am gonna, I am gonna head to a point. Right there being those cars, that's where I'm gonna land. It's gonna be up, I'm gonna choose to go uphill because there's no wind. The idea here, folks, is to get the point where your wheels are going to hit. Now, that's a long road. You can't just go for the road. I may touch down right where it bends. That would make it hard. Pick an exact point where your wheels are going to hit, and that's where I'm going to go. So now I've established my point. It's right down there. Um, I'm going to check. Tanks on both. Mixture rich. Copy heat out. Primer and lock. Master on. Turn the keys. It did not start. I will stay on the tower frequency and go mayday, mayday, mayday. Now, do I have time for one more spiral? No, I do not. So I'm going to simulate that this is the downwind, and I'm going to turn to my 45. I go mayday, 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 734 X-ray hotel, eight miles west of the airport, going down, three people on board, three souls on board, please send help. I'm turning the base here, squaring it, look at the altitude, and I'll go full flaps. Coming in before I touch down, I'm going to shut off the fuel, shut off the mixture, just think fire. For the interest of safety, I'm going to clear my engine. I don't like to do that on a demonstration because it may put me long. Now here I come, coming down. I'm going to do an S turn to lose it. Now, are we going to make that spot? Or are we going to walk away, folks? Yes? We lived. We lived. Okay, I'm going to go up because there is a rule, and I don't want to break any. Be careful not to. You had flaps down, I had trim. Make sure you don't go into an uh, elevator trim stall. Now, had it been high enough, I would have been finished in the uh, radio call to giving them a little bit more explicit instructions on where to find us. Part of pre-takeoff brief, you should tell your passengers in the event of emergency where you're gonna where you're gonna go, but the, where you're gonna meet. I always like to say 100 feet behind the plane. You know, always let them know how many people are on board, because there's no sense coming out there and finding Greg and leaving me in the dark. You know. You know? Oh, works at finding me and leaving you. I appreciate that. That's okay. <laughs>